Hello everyone, my name's James and this is a video response to a video posted by Richard Wiseman on his Quirkology channel, which is a very good channel, you should check that out. And on that channel he posted a magic trick where after some rules he was able to correctly predict which of these symbols you, the viewer, was going to pick. Now it's a very good trick, but I think why it works is even more interesting, so I hope to explain that here. But if you haven't seen the video, we'll put the link in the description, but if you haven't seen it, we'll do a quick run through now. So, what you'll need to do is put your finger here on the start square. Now, I'm going to tell you to move either up, down, left or right, but you're not allowed to move diagonally. So you'll have free choice of moving left, right, up or down. Move one place now, so you shouldn't be on the start square anymore. You'll be either here or here. Now, each time I say a number, you're going to move one place, again, left, right, up or down, but don't move diagonally. Okay, let's try that again. So move one, two, three, four, five. Now, you should not be on the house here. Let's try that again. We're going to move a number of moves. If you're ready, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I believe you are no longer on the arrows over here. And I don't think you're on the V anymore either. So let's speed this up a bit. Let's do it again. Remember, ready to move and one, two, three, four, five. Now I don't think you're on this symbol anymore. And I don't think you're on this face anymore either. So let's try this again. We're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I don't think you're on the wavy lines anymore, so I can take that away. Ready to move one more time and move once now. So I don't think you're on this anymore, and I think you're here on the smiley face. Now, if that works, it's a great trick, but Let's see if we can explain how it works. Now, to some of you, this trick will be obvious and you won't need an explanation, but if it's the first time you've seen a trick like this, or if you still haven't figured it out yet, let me try and explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour the grid alternatively with yellow and blue squares, like that. So it's kind of like a chessboard. Now, we started up here in the top right yellow square, and then I asked you to move an odd number of moves. If I do that, you will move from a yellow square to one of the blue squares. Let's say I asked you to move three places. So then you would go one, two, three. And you might be on this blue square here. Now, I don't know which blue square you're going to be on, but I do know you are no longer on one of the yellow squares. So I can start to take yellow squares away. In the same way, if we're on a blue square, and I ask you to move an odd number of moves, you're going to end up on one of the yellow squares. Again, I don't know which yellow square you're going to be on, but I can start to take away the blue squares. Now, I could take this blue square away as well, uh, but I'm not going to do that, because I want the grid to remain connected. If I took this away, this square here would be disconnected from the rest. And don't forget, we're not allowed to move diagonally. Now, there's a reason why we're not allowed to move diagonally. Because if we could, I wouldn't be able to predict which colour square you'd be on, and the trick wouldn't work. Now, if I want you to end up down here on the smiley face, then I just make that square the last one to be removed. If the grid remains connected, then the volunteer is forced to end up here in the bottom right corner on the smiley face. And there you have it. If you're interested in more videos from the IMA, or if you want to find out more about the Institute of Mathematics and its applications, then please subscribe to our channel, or check out our website. We'll put the link in the description. Now, if you're an IMA member, we are looking for more videos like this to feature on our channel. So, if you want to make a video response to something you've seen, like this video was, or if you want to share your favourite piece of mathematics, please get in touch. We want to hear from you. And if you have been, thanks for watching.